Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the Herbology Classroom and more free room for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. We are not only going to check out the Herbology Classroom, but we're going to check out the Herbology Second Room, the Garden Dome, and the Quidditch Training Field, which are all kind of clustered in that northwest corner of the map that we have a link to down below in the video description. So if you're all ready to roll out, let's go ahead and check it, check it out. Now, every time we turn off the game and turn it back on, it dumps us into the main classroom entrance. So we're going to kind of use that as the main point. If you guys are in a hurry, you want to go to the quick links down below. We have no worries about that. We won't, our feelings won't get hurt or anything. So skip ahead if you like. Otherwise, make it through the fountain courtyard and head on over to the far left side. And then we're going to go all the way up and into the herbology classroom. You guys probably remember this. We learned a few spells earlier in the story mode. But uh, once we step inside, there's a gold brick up in the very far back corner. Now, a handful of you might have already grabbed this when you were in here previously. We did not grab it because we wanted to save it for this run that we're making now. So, jump up on the flower pot, get up on top of the earmuffs cabinet, and grab that gold brick. We could go ahead and roll out by busting the lock open with Reducto, and then uh, slide on through. And this is kind of the Herbology second room. It's kind of a courtyard here, but... There wasn't really an official name for this on the map, so we just went ahead and considered this part of the second room. So, Fleur de Cure is right there. Bust open the lock with Reducto yet again. Once it's done saving, sneak into the far right door and start busting open some pumpkins. Now, uh, when you walk all the way to the far left of the room, you'll notice a Venus flytrap, kind of a man-eating plant. You might also notice that there was a hanging chandelier. Go ahead and use Wingardium Leviosa to distract him. He will drop the first item needed for the cauldron. We'll grab it and slam dunk it. Now, right behind the cauldron is an ear muffs. Oh, it's a little different this time. we got a spear through our head. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put those on. They still work as ear muffs, even though it looks like, I don't know, it's a little gag. But uh, anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and grab the boon hiding behind the mandrake over there. Slam dunk it. We'll move on to the final piece needed for that cauldron, which happens to be the purple flower. Hey, does anybody actually know if there's any relevance to that purple flower in the movie or books to this game or if it's just an item they selected? I'd really like to know because I've made a ton of videos. I've made a ton of references to it, and I have no idea what it really is. I mean, it just grew on an apple tree, but it's a purple flower. Is it a blossom? Is it, I mean, I, I can tell you what I think it looks like, but it's not appropriate. So anyways, uh, once you get all three of the items, go ahead and drink it up. Hoo, hoo, drink it up. And then uh, basically that's the old Popeye potion makes you stronger. And pull the old strong chain and release that student in peril. So that's right, mister. Turn that frown upside down. Now, if you busted the plant in the far right and you open the chain, you should have all the pieces needed in order to build up the leaf stairwell. Now, you'll have to go back to your character with the earmuffs on. And it's not because I'm going to use a bunch of foul language. It's because we need to pick up another mandrake. So grab the first mandrake that you see. There's the one on the far right that we already moved. So we grab him first. We noticed that there happened to be one in this room that we opened with the student in peril with the strong chain, so we grab him as well. And earlier when I was messing about, I happened to notice that there was one on the far left on that upper level up there. So after we uh, get our dunk on with the second mandrake, we're going to head on over to the left-hand side, climb up that ladder, and grab that mandrake. Now there's plenty of studage around. We only have a 48 times right now. Um, I'm not going to milk the studs too much until I get... Uh, the 3,840 multiplier, because that's when it really counts. So we have a lot of money to spend on red bricks, gold bricks, character tokens, all sorts of stuff. So money will be an issue. So save it for now, and we'll buy the red bricks for the multipliers with the money we have. We actually have way more money than we really need at this point, I think, um, for the red bricks anyways. But we'll see. I haven't bought the 10 next yet. Not at this video anyway. So, all right, once you get that handled, the red brick handed off to the owl, we can go ahead and leave that second room there. And we're still kind of technically in what I call, call the second room. But now we've made it into that far back doorway and we are officially in the garden dome. Not to be confused with your garden gnome, it's a big old dome. And there's a garden in it, so. All right, this this proved to be really annoying, and I apologize for you guys that had to watch this, but I, there was really nothing I could do about it. I, no matter what I did, I could not use Ridiculous 
without hitting one of my mates. They kept getting in the way. So I finally, like, after a series of running around, I finally got it. Destroy the old Bogot chest with whatever character you use, and uh, Booyaka Shout, pick up that character token. So down below in the far right corner, there is a Mandrake screaming his little heart out. And you can see there is an earmuffs cabinet up top. Now, I thought I was going to be able to jump from the upper ledge to the lower ledge, but it you know, and you might be able to methodically get up on that rail and make the jump, but then I found this nice little easier way when you just blast the old bench there, it launches you up. Go ahead and sneak into that cabinet, take out some bushes along the way, and now we are suited for handling a mandrake. So we can go ahead and drop down there and grab him. We tired of your loud mouth, buddy. Actually, you got to take him and run him around and utilize that loud mouth for once. And there are five glass items scattered throughout this. The first one is on the far left. Second one is right by the entrance that you came in. The third one is on the far right on the lower, below, well, I guess it's on the lower level below the ledge. And fifth is, or fourth is up top on the left. And the fifth is up high on the right. So, uh, and not the right right, but the middle right. We'll go ahead and bust that open. It's kind of tricky hiding there. But once you get all five of them, it will reward you with a character token. Thank you very much. All right, that Mandrake is still screaming. We have had enough. We are out of here. So we're going to go ahead and leave the Garden Dome. We're going to take off through the Herbology second room path here. Grab a few studs. I thought for sure I had to get out using the foreground there, but it's actually on the left. So we'll sneak out of the old Herbology classroom on the right side there. And now we're back in the Herbology courtyard. Uh, this was another one that wasn't actually labeled on the map that we had provided from Radiant Viper over at Xbox Achievements. But uh, we found a way to make it work. We actually just called it the courtyard. We could have called it the Quidditch Field pra or Practice Field courtyard as well. Um, and we even could have called it the Outer Courtyard or something. But just to make it simple, Herbology. Yeah, there's already another Quidditch field, so rather than make that any more confusing than it already is, we will just triple down on the herbology stuff. So, oh to the yeah, once you're ready, head into the gates, and you will arrive at the actual practice facility. Now, you're still in the same area, but it's kind of a different portion of it. So, pull out Ron or Hermione, get out a digger, and get your dig, dig, digging on. Dig, dig, dig it in, dig, dig, dig it on, in. I said get your dig, dig, dig it on, dig, dig, dig it on, yeah. All right, we got three of the five little steamy piles here. I'm glad it's the kitty that's digging up and not me, because we certainly would want some hand sanitizer after digging up these steamy piles. And uh, all right, all five of them can be found right here. Once you get the fifth one, it will reward you with the Harry Quidditch character token. So that's pretty sweet. I thought this was interesting, too. I was not aware that you could actually jump over that fence line until just then. That's kind of weird, because you're in another area, but you're, you can go to the old area. But, uh, all right, you saw us use Reducto on the treasure chest in the middle of the room. Now, you can see down below, too, it's actually got two collectibles. Why is that? Well, because it actually gives you two collectibles. It's pretty simple. So, use Harry. I don't think any of the other characters can fly. And if they can, they can't fly nearly as well as Harry. So, uh, use him to fly through all the rings. Pick up them blue studs and most of those. And I think all of them actually have blue studs. Bluesy! And once you get through all of the rings, which it's taken me a heck of a long time, it actually kicks down with those two collectibles. So we're going to go ahead and grab that character token first. Jump off the broom by hitting the icon that you use to get on it. And drop down and grab that collectible. All right, we'll go ahead and snag that gold brick next. Booyah kashow. If you use the quick link to get here, make sure you bust open that treasure chest and fly through all of the rings with Harry on the old, I don't know, the, Nim the Nimbus 2000, what is it called? I forget. Anyways, uh, that's actually going to wrap up Lego Harry Potter years one through four, the Herbology Classroom, and so much more. <laughs> uh, we hope you enjoyed it. We hope you found it helpful. And if you did, or you have a question for us, have something you want to suggest, or you simply just want to get involved in the conversation, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. We also have some other social pages as well, Twitch, G+, and Instagram. Uh, we're not as active on those last three as we are the first three here, kind of why we have the screen here still. I keep saying I'm going to change it, but I haven't got there yet. We also have HappyThumbsGaming.com, the home of our product and gaming reviews and trophy achievement guides. Uh, we do have quite a few Lego guides. That's really the main focus of our trophy achievement guides is, is Lego games. So if you like Lego games, you like visual guides, as well as the videos, come check them out. 
Uh, but that's pretty much it. So until next time. Mm, oh, to the end. <laughs>